Is it possible to improve plant growth in a tank without CO2 injection by using CO2 pills? That's what we're going to find out today. What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Mark and on this channel I upload at least two videos per week every Tuesday and Friday about aquascaping and everything else that involves a plant and aquarium. So CO2 pills, I mean, I've always been very skeptical of these things. I always kind of thought that this is some sort of scam. But how can you know for sure if you, if you never tried it before? So right now I think I have the perfect aquarium to kind of experiment with. So if you're subscribed to my channel, you've probably already seen my CO2 versus no CO2 experiment. Um, I've set up two tanks in the exact same way, but the tank on the left here has CO2 injection and the tank on the right has no CO2 injection. They're both at about one month old right now. Um, both actually looking quite good, but the one with CO2 injection is definitely looking a lot more lush and green. Um, I've trimmed this one only once, but it was about two weeks ago. And the tank without CO2 I've also trimmed, but that was yesterday. So this one is, is running a little bit behind, but I mean, it's looking quite good. So I think this tank is perfectly suitable for our CO2 pill experiment. So let's see if we can yeah, boost the plant growth a little bit with those CO2 pills. So when I had an ordered these CO2 tablets on Amazon, I paid $14.59, something like that. And there's 100 tablets inside. So this is from a brand called Ista. And on the package it says, easy and convenient way to provide CO2 for your simple aquarium plants to thrive. For simple aquarium plants. Not sure what they mean by that. By gradually dissolving in the water to release CO2 into the aquarium water. Application, simply drop one CO2 tablet into the 20 liter of water. You will see the micro CO2 bubble releasing. It takes about two hours for the tablet to dissolve completely. You can adjust the usage amount of the tablet according to the plant density. Okay, so we might need to use more, more than one tablet in our aquarium. We recommend that you can use CO2 cylinder supply set for better results. Ah, okay. So if you have a big amount of plants, they actually suggest to use an actual CO2 injection system instead of this. So that doesn't really give a lot of confidence. Okay, so before we start dumping these tablets in our aquarium, I think it's good to do some research and read some reviews. So over here on Amazon, there's about 135 reviews. So let's see what these people have to say. So the first review already says that it doesn't work. It's a review from the United States from May 2020. I have a CO2 test kit in my 20 gallon tank. So far I have put 4 tablets in every 2 hours and no rise in CO2. I'm up to 12 tablets and still no change. Doesn't work. Okay, that does not really uh, sound very good. So let's, uh, let's see if there may be some better reviews. Okay, there's not a bad rev review here that says that it just clouds the water and doesn't do anything. The pills, no matter how many I put in over a period of days, did not affect the CO2 in the aquarium according to the Nilla CO2 checker. Okay, so this person used the CO2 drop checker and it's saying that it did not change the color of the CO2 drop checker. The pills did not bubble fizz as I inferred from the description and I could not tell that they did anything of value. I simply cannot recommend this as a viable option to add CO2 to a plant and aquarium. Another not very convincing review. Let's see if we can find some good reviews. Okay, so here's a five star review, also from the United States from December 2020. I've been adding three two times a week into my 30 gallon and two two times a week in my 20 gallon. And the entire tanks are benefiting. benefiting. Water quality, plants and fish all look healthier since I started using these. Okay, so maybe these are some magic pills. His water quality, his plants and his fish started, using, started looking better after he started using these pills. Okay, that sounds prom <laughs> promising. There's a 4 star review here. It actually gives out CO2. I tested on my 10 gallon tank and was surprised. However, I had to use about 10 tablets in order to achieve this Okay, so this person had to use 10 tablets in a 10 gallon tank to make a CO2 indicator change from blue to green within 4 hours. So those were some really mixed reviews, <laughs> didn't really get us any further. So I went ahead and searched for some YouTube videos, maybe that can help us. So I found this CO2 tablets guide that was posted a year ago and has almost 14,000 views, so 
maybe that maybe that maybe that's helpful. Nice intro for sure. I should get an intro for my YouTube channel as well. Maybe I can find this editor. It's a Chinese brand, it's not the same brand as I have. So let's see if these work. I am gonna give you a complete review on these tabs and I am gonna show you that how to use it. And in my further videos, I will share the results of these tabs. So, guys, stay tuned with me. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's scroll back forward. Okay, so this guy advises to use a good circulation inside the aquariums. So the CO2 that is released from the tablet is distributed to the entire aquarium. I'll we'll have a good flow in the tank as well, so we're good there. Okay, that also was not really helpful. I saw him put the tablet in. Uh, we saw the tablet dissolve a little bit, but we did not really see any bubbles being released by the tablet. And he also didn't show us any results after some time. So let's keep on looking. Okay, so this is a new video with a different brand of CO2 pills. But this one seems to be actually releasing a lot of CO2 bubbles. So this looks like it could actually work. Okay, so these tablets were already fully dissolved after about 15 minutes. So then we're gonna have to <laughs> add in a lot of tablets. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea either. Let's look for another video, one more. Okay, I think I found a video of somebody who's using the exact same brand of CO2 tablets as I have. So let's see if this, hopefully this video is a bit helpful here. What's happening right here? <laughs> This person uh, bought CO2 tablets for his tank, but his tank only has fake plants. So I don't think those tablets are gonna turn his fake plants into fast growing fake plants. Let's just watch the video anyway. Okay, so we dropped two tablets in. They seem to be releasing some bubbles. Those videos were not really helpful either, so I think we're just gonna have to start testing it ourselves. Okay, so the moment of truth, let's put in our first uh, CO2 tablet. The recommended dose is one tablet per 20 liters of water. This aquarium is exactly 20 liters, so we can start with one. And they say you can adjust the usage amount of the tablet according to the planting density. So if you have a densely planted tank, we can maybe add some more. But let's just start with one tablet. There's our tablets. I'm gonna use uh, my tweezers to take one out because I don't want to touch these things. Don't even know what they are made of. Supposedly CO2, right? So I'm gonna drop one here, right in front. The outflow is hitting it directly, so we should get some nice CO2 circulation here. So here we go. Okay, that's our first CO2 tablet in. It's definitely not uh, fizzing like the, the one that we saw in that second video, but we can see some tiny bubbles being released there. Maybe it's gonna increase in, uh, in a few minutes, let's, let's see. So on the packaging it says that it takes about two hours for this CO2 tablet to completely dissolve. Now I think to get the best results, I think we should have a CO2 tablet in constantly. So at least, at least during when the lights are on. So I'm gonna put a timer for two hours and after two hours we'll come back see how it looks and drop in another tablet maybe so i already have a co2 drop checker right here on the side it's a hang on drop checker and as you can see it's like totally blue but these hang on drop checkers are not that accurate so i think it's good to get another drop checker just in case and one that's actually sitting in the tank Ok, 
Okay, so I've put a timer for two hours and added the second drop checker. I can see what that person meant in the reviews about the white, uh, the white flakes. I can already see some white particles floating through the aquarium that don't really seem to dissolve completely. So yeah, let's just check back in two hours. Okay, so it's currently the next day. Yesterday we did not get any color change in the CO2 drop checker, even with two tablets. So I'm a little bit discouraged, but it doesn't mean we're gonna quit. Maybe this just doesn't work the same way as, as normal CO2 injection, I and mean, maybe it's not even meant to show up on the CO2 drop checker. So I'm gonna keep trying. Um, I'm gonna use, just keep using it for an entire week. Yeah, here you can see it. I've made a little schedule for four times a day. So the lights in the tank, they go on at one o'clock. So I've gone, I'm gonna put in two tablets at 12 o'clock. I'm gonna put in two tablets at two o'clock, at four o'clock and at six o'clock. So we have a, yeah, we constantly have two tablets in the tank. So let's see if that's gonna give us some, uh, some nice results. The purpose of this video is to see if we can improve the plant growth with these CO2 tablets. So let's just use it for a week. And then after a week, we can decide whether or not this works or if it's just a scam. All right, it's been seven days already. I wanted to do a little update in between, but I was feeling a little bit under the weather. You might be able to still tell from the sound of my voice, but I'm all healthy again, so we can finally wrap up this silly experiment. Let's just get down to business. In my opinion, after seven days, I think CO2 pills, it does not work. So for the past seven days, I've been adding CO2 pills religiously. I had a schedule on my phone, and every few hours I would add two pills to my no CO2 tank. But um, yeah, nothing has changed. I mean, there has been uh, some plant growth, of course, it's normal. But if this was real CO2 in those pills, then that would have been a lot. There should have been a lot more, a lot more growth. So this is what the tank currently looks like after receiving CO2 from pills from the se for the past seven days. And yeah, I mean, I've took a picture of this tank for every single day, so you can sort of see a time lapse. But yeah, plant growth has just been very, very minimal. So I think after I wrap up this video, this is going into the trash. That was a waste of money. Um, I didn't see any color change with the CO2 drop checker. I didn't see any purling going on with the plants. So it just didn't look like they were actually getting some sort of benefit from these pills whatsoever. So let's take a quick look at our CO2 tank. Yeah, I think we can all agree that this tank is looking a lot better. I mean, look at the moss super healthy super green all the rest of the plants are looking good as well we almost have a full carpet and here the marsalea is properly growing and spreading and in the new no co2 tank that plant is is not even growing at all and i guess that's all down to the co2 injection now i know co2 injection is yeah it's expensive and not many people want to go that that route but i think there's a lot better options than co2 taps but We'll get to that in a minute. So one thing that I still want to mention in this video about the CO2 pills. Like here on the packaging it says that one pill should take up to two hours to dissolve completely. I mean that was true for the first day. After two hours there was like a tiny bit left. But on the second day after I've already up added a couple of pills. It would take a lot longer for those pills to dissolve. Sometimes even up to four hours. So then I started thinking like okay so these pills like they must be affecting the water parameters for in, in some way, right? So I thought it would be a good idea to do a watch test. So I did, and the results were quite shocking. So normally, um, my pH is seven, my GH is six, and my KH is five. That's normal before we did this experiment, basically. And during this experiment, my pH was eight, or maybe even eight and a half. It's a bit hard to see with this test. My GH was seven, and my KH was 10. So my KH was almost double the usual value. So that was that was crazy. So the only thing this CO2 pills have been doing is just raising my, my KH. 
Now, I'm no plant expert by any means, but I think the majority of aquatic plants actually prefer a low KH. So I really don't see how this product is of any value and how it's going to improve your plant growth whatsoever. So I hope if there's anybody out there thinking of buying these pills, you'll find this video first and you save yourself $15. But I know there's plenty of people out there who are looking for cheap ways to yeah, get better plant growth and to find a cheap way to inject CO2 into that tank. So what if I said that there was a much better option than this for even less than $15? So to give you an example, over here is my 20 liter cube and I hope you guys agree with me that this one is looking quite good. So what if I told you that the CO2 system on this aquarium is costing less than $15? Now I'm sure mm, a lot of you already heard about DIY CO2. So this right here is the CO2 system for that nano tank. Normally it sits below here in this basket. Just took it out to show it to you guys properly. But this is just a simple one and a half liter bottle that's filled with some water, some sugar, and some yeast. And I think you can see that. Look at all those micro bubbles. So this is producing CO2 for five, six, almost seven weeks now. If you want to know more about this kind of CO2 systems, I have an entire video on that as well. I'll leave a link in the description and on the top of the screen right there. Definitely check that out. I've been using these kind of systems for years and if you're on a low budget, then this is a really good option as well. But that is the end of the video. That's the end of the CO2 pills experiment. Guys, if you ever tried CO2 pills, let me know in the comments what was your experience. Always curious to know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you next time. Take care.